friends, welcome back to another episode of Notes from Home, but this is gonna be our quarantine edition. We are all stuck in the house just like you are. Actually, right across the hall from me is Sania's bedroom where we have put an office for Sada work from home. But what we're gonna talk about today is this bathroom. This is the hallway bathroom that the kids use and it is very dated. And so since we're all stuck at home, we thought this would be a great time to update this bathroom. But let me tell you one thing, eventually our goal for this bathroom is to gut it and start from scratch and make it completely new and beautiful. But for now, our goal is just to make it better. So we're gonna try to do it as inexpensively as possible. Let me show you what it looks like and tell you about some ideas we have. So the weird thing about this bathroom is the layout. It has two vanities, one with a sink and one without. And then it has a wall that separates the shower and the toilet. So let's look at this vanity first. We have a single vanity, but we are not crazy about this countertop. It's a brown marble type looking countertop. And one of the first things I'd like to do is, is paint this white. And I'm gonna share with you later how we're gonna do that. Another thing about this cabinet is the, the vanity, the, some of the drawers aren't working and there's not a lot of space here, but we're gonna try to just paint this vanity, maybe give it some new hardware just to make it look a little newer. We may or may not keep the mirror, um, just depending on budget and how much it would cost. So we may replace it or we may just try to frame it out and update it. We'll definitely be changing out this light fixture for sure. So when you walk in the bathroom, the door opens like this and it hits this vanity and it makes it very awkward to try to get to this vanity because you have to shut the door first and some of these drawers are old and need to be updated a little bit. We're also going to be painting that vanity white as well. But one of the ideas that I do have possibly is to take this door down and create a sliding door so that when we walk into the bathroom, you'll see both vanities on each side. It'll give us a lot more space. All right, now we're going to flip again and I'm going to go back into where the shower is. All right, so this part we don't have to do as much to because the shower is in decent shape. We might just change a little bit of the caulking around the tub. Um, the toilet's gonna stay where it's at. We're just gonna put a fresh coat of paint in here and then we are gonna clean up and paint this window, make it a little bit nicer. So that's all we have to do in here. Most of the work is gonna be in the front of the bathroom. All right, so that's a look at this bathroom. And again, we're not doing a full renovation. We're just gonna make it better. And one of the things I wanna start with first is this countertop. So I'm gonna share with you all how we're going to update and make this countertop look prettier. But before we do, I wanna share with you a little family project that we did to help support our frontline heroes during this coronavirus. Okay guys, so my mom was cleaning out the shed um, and we found these two boards, there's one behind it. So we're going to be painting these boards and making signs out of them, a little project, and we'll show you guys. at home we're just gonna use what we have I came out here to the shed then I found this and I actually don't know what it is it's something for shingles or something uh, but it's sticky on the back so here's the plan we're gonna try to cut letters out of this to say thank you and then we're gonna put it on the board I don't know if it'll work but we're gonna try it I found um Christmas like lights that you, you put around your house. Yeah. So we think we're going to take them and like use them. I think we could line the board with these and I think these are twinkle lights. So that'll be really cool and it'll show up at night. So I think it'll look pretty on that white board. So we're gonna try this. If it doesn't work out, we'll go with plan B. Which is something.
All right, so today I'm going to update this bathroom countertop with this epoxy, um, appliance epoxy. Never done this before, but we're gonna give it a try. Um, but one of the things that I realize is that I'm probably gonna have to take this mirror down first because I may repurpose this mirror. Um, it's old and it's kind of, it's got some, I don't know, wearing on the edges. So I thought maybe I could lift it a little and frame it out. I may buy a new mirror completely, I'm not sure yet. But if I repurpose this one, I need it to, to move up. And right now it's sitting right on the edge of this backsplash, countertop backsplash, and I need to paint there. So we're gonna take this mirror down before we start painting. <laughs> today we are going to first clean off the countertop really well. Top, and you basically have two choices. We're gonna go with the roll-on epoxy paint, but it also comes in a spray can, which is where I actually got the idea to do this is from my friend Allie at Proverbs 31 Girl on Instagram. So we decided to go with the roll-on paint, um, and I am going to now tape off um, all the edges with some painter's tape and a little bit on the edge of the countertop in case I get any drips. Another tip that Allie gave us was if you are going to keep your faucet and use the same faucet, I thought it was absolutely brilliant, but she gave us the idea to cover the faucet in this clean press and seal wrap so it just covers it up perfectly and you're able to kind of mold it to the faucet and it sticks really good. So you cover up the whole faucet all the way around the edges. You can even use this to cover this. However, we're getting a new faucet. So if you're keeping your faucet, don't forget this step. But if you're like us and you're going to do a different faucet, um, you don't have to worry about this step. since we put two coats of this paint on. And I wanna to explain to you something I'm gonna do a little bit different, okay? This is a foam roller. Um, it has zero nap. Like, you know, there's all different types of naps. This naps on a roller. This is for a very smooth surface. However, when I did it on this counter, it does give a little bit of a bumpy texture. I wanted to see if I could get rid of this bumpy surface and I was able to. Let me tell you how I was able to do it. Here's what I've decided to do. I'm gonna take this 120 grit sanding sponge and I was able to push really, really good and hard and I was able to smooth out this surface. Okay guys, so this is the spray epoxy I'm gonna use. I sanded this really good. I'm wiping all the dust off, which is super important, again, with this microfiber cloth. And I'm gonna do at least two coats of this. You need to do it within the half hour. So I'll do a coat, wait maybe 15 minutes, do a second coat. The one thing I wanna tell you guys is this is has a very strong odor, so I'm gonna wear a mask, and it has a lot of overspray. So if you are doing this in a place where you need to protect your floors and everything, your walls, 
everything should be covered. However, because we're kind of redoing everything, we're getting a new light, we're painting the walls, we're putting new flooring, I don't care if it gets an overspray on it. But if you're doing it and you want to keep that part of your bathroom clean, you have got to cover it because this has crazy overspray. All right, let's get started. painting last night and it takes about 24 hours for this to set um, but we love the way it turned out there was a lot that we learned during this process so we created a separate how-to video about this whole process and we've linked that video in the description below so be sure to check that out um, but in the meantime we're going to continue working on this bathroom renovation we have a lot of little projects that we're going to share with you here on Notes From Home. So make sure that you have subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss any of our videos when they go live. And we would love it if you'd give us a like, a thumbs up, and be sure to comment below if you have any questions whatsoever and we will get back to you. Until next time.